How's it going, everybody? We are back with Velen Indrail. And uh, before we get started, I do want to spend a blood point. He has a additional perk point, and this will be added to his Vampiric Agility, which is in this perk tree right here, called Athletics. You move 3% faster. So as a vampire, as a vampire lord, he is going to move faster, um, jump higher, but uh, yeah, he's going to have to build that. So we're going to talk to, I think it's Brain Brainyolf of the Thieves Guild, not the leader. I said it was the leader in the last episode. He's not the leader. Okay, he's just the most likable out of the bunch, and I'll leave it at that. All right. I'd love to take off the hood right now. Uh I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, a letter from Looks like that's it. Okay. Got to go. See, I just wish I could nope. drain Sorry. that dude. Nothing. That's I as a player want to drain that dude. I just Sorry. I complain about this every time in all my playthroughs, but I just get so irritated. That tree. At the couriers. They're the most terrifying thing in the game. Huh. Alright, so Maven, we would see each other momentarily. So look at we are bigger too than your average dark elf. We're, we're a big dude. Uh, let's take out this, just so you guys can see. Yeah, so, he's sizable. Svelte. I imagine he keeps his body strong through martial training. Running a little light in the pockets, lad? I'm sorry, what? Your pockets. They're a little low on coin. I can tell. What would his voice be like? Uh, my, my, my wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like... We're playing coy. What did you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, <coughs> extra hands are well. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I have a bad cough. What do you... What? What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Uh, why plant the ring on Brainshy? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. You tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Okay. I'm ready we are. are not ready. Um, because I just realized there's something that we need to do. And that is... Um... Oh, can we not make bolts? Let's see. Oh, I have a question for you guys. Uh, if you don't answer me, I'm just gonna do it. But... Huh. Guess I can't... Here's something I do want to try. Maybe we just need to take the first perk in the smithing tree, and then that will allow us to... make bolts. No? Why can't we make bolts? I'll have to look in the mod. Well, that sucks. Because the, those bolts were really saving our butt. Alright. Well, we can't make bolts. That seems reasonable, actually. Um, 
until we get stronger. Here's the thing, though. We do have our Conjured Deathhound, so that's going to help us a lot. Um, yeah, we're not doing any fishing. Yeah, you guys want to do a Vampire Blood Knight character while I do is fish. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to do this. We'll keep that. Sell that. Huh. I'll read that. I don't know what that's for. Ooh, we need to read that. Read that. And... Here's something interesting about this character. At least it's interesting to me. Uh, my other vampire character, Hasim. Okay. Oh, wow. We have lots of bolts. Okay. In fact, we have... These are our least powerful bolts. Okay. Well, we're in a better spot than I thought. Um, great. Okay. So... I'm not going to save scum this. I'm going to let it play out however it needs to. But we are going to... Okay, lot. Ready to make some coin. Uh, I'm ready. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Yes. Why didn't you then? Everyone. Nope. Sorry. I have nothing yeah go listen to the man not not you gotta be kidding me what's the hurry move seriously back up 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 no pushing no shoving plenty of room oh my gosh. Is that guy seriously just going to That's what you said about the wisp essence and it turned out to be crushed nerve root I don't know what else to do. Oh, thank you. This is very tense. We, so we don't want to botch this because we're trying to make a good impression. So you're a stranger here too, huh? Yeah. Come on. Are you talking about the snow elves? The one and only mystical beings who live in legends. This isn't. <laughs> we did it! I've never, by the way, it's on my dream characters to play on this channel, but like a thief with just awesome thief mods, and I've never done pickpocketing and I've never done lockpicking. But just to really experience all those with uh, sneak tools and all that stuff, so. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I pro. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. I'm really got excited to show you guys the uh, Thieves Guild too. So, there's mods there. What's been going on? What's been What's been My going on? My has been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. Right. If you think you can handle it. Um. The money's nice, but I don't know. No way. It was wrong to do these. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried. I can handle All it. Right then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. So eventually, we're gonna have to get some armor for our guy. City really gets to Felon. So. Okay. So. We. Gonna do this. Um. And. Because we can. And it's been a while. 
uh, we're gonna check out the uh, the guards see who they are uh, the guards would know who we are a little bit at least it's been made clear to allow us to um, to enter the barracks uh, whenever we want to so we're probably just like this weird spooky guy but oh no this is the other guard that we killed um that's a very suspicious still yeah we're not we're not gonna do any draining lethal um though I'd love to we definitely need the uh, points but it would it's just way too suspicious let's just real quick thank the modders for this uh, look look at this sword it is a thing of beauty I, I just I love it L I love the scabbards so something with me when I play Skyrim I have to have scabbards for my swords I just hate a sword just I know the swords just floating on his back but I'm able to RP a little bit in my mind like it's like hinged to his back along with the crossbow um, but I have to have a scabbard. Got to. Okay. So we basically already cleared out this area. So is there anything that we need to do? Don't think so. Pickpockets journal. Oh. I don't want that. I know what that is. And I think that has to do with a pet thing in Skyrim. And uh, I'm just not interested in doing that with this character. Though, I do have another character that might be interested in doing that in the future. I have a cowboy type of series that I'm playing, and that might be perfect for him. Ah, so. This is the Ragged Tavern. I think it's called that, right? Getting the name right? So we'll go around the side and let's take off our hood, let our hair down a little bit, well metaphorically let our hair down, we've gotten in our little bun. Stay tuned by the way, I have a necromancer, the bone weaver samurai coming out soon, I'm working on it um, and if anyone that's given input I've appreciated. I have a thumbnail, not thumbnail, but I have a picture of it in the community tab if you guys want to add stuff for mods and whatnot. Please, please do. Look at this. I love it. What do you call that? Good afternoon. Well, well. Top of the morning. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Greetings. Uh oh, greetings. Getting here was easy. I almost got killed. Don't know why I bothered. Um, I feel like he would say that. I know it's kind of messed up, but... Um, yeah, he's a knight. He comes from royalty. Vampiric royalty, so... If you were expecting a palace... Yeah. <laughs> maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Now, if you're done bellyaching... That's a great child, response, thief to a knight. Oh, that played out great. Deadbeats, what they do. They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good. Wait, sounds good. Who are they? Kirava, Percy Honeyhand. And Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How did you how do you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Consider it done. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Uh, any help with Bercy? He's as headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is
is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Okay. Any tips with Kiraba? Kiraba? stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the Bean Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Oh, fair enough, thank you. What's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Okay. I'll be here when you're done. So we're gonna talk to everybody here, Let's see if coin, anybody. There's no handouts here. Absolutely. We got a lot of nerve coming down here. People tend to get hurt in the rat way. I'm looking to make a home here in the rat way? Splendid. There's a house available right now. What home is this? Uh, if you guys know, let me let me know. I actually have no idea what that is. Very well. Just let me know when you're ready to purchase. Can you the house? share anything about the thieves guild? I don't know you, so we've got nothing to talk about. How about you finish the job Brynjolf gave you? Then we can talk. Interesting. Okay, so we're these are our future co-workers, so we're gonna. Don't you have something to do? We're gonna do what we can, mingle. I really like I wouldn't stay the way. Talk to me. I think Brynjolf could give you all the information. All right. I really like how this place looks. I live on the west coast. And uh, visiting the beach, I've gone into <clears throat> restaurants that kind of resemble this. So let's talk to her. An ambulance trader. Take a look. Okay, what do you have? Cool. So we can use these if we ever need to like, charade as a uh, storm cloak or an imperial. These look pretty legitimate. So, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't make trouble. Okay. Uh, we can talk to you. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. I met your brother. Maul? Yeah. That jerk works for Maven Blackbriar now. Left me down here watching this garbage heap. I guess he's better at all that talking stuff anyway. I just mess everything up. <laughs> talking stuff. I think Velen would like Dirge. He sees that he could use him for things, because he's probably not too high on... IQ. Why do you, why do they call you Dirge? They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Why? You think it's funny or something? Uh, no way. That that name would scare anyone. I think it's hilarious. You got it. I think we try to charm him. Oh yeah, I think so too. You're pretty smart. Hey, here, have one on the house. Hmm. Remind me why they call you Dirge again. I already told you. They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Oh, that's a weird dialogue. I see all the nets. So we're gonna be, look at the bow. We're gonna be spending a lot of time here. If you're Vekel and me, we have a thing going. So I recommend you keep your hands off the merchandise. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. I mean, last person who made trouble for Vekel ended up with. All right, who are you? What have you done to yourself? I cannot work with you in this state, Nightwalker. Ooh, she knows right away. Uh, what are you talking about? You must be the face sculptor I've heard about. I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. <laughs> but my techniques only work on the living, not those that have crossed over into undead. All right, she doesn't seem like she wants to cause any trouble with us. So, uh, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna look look around, show you guys this mod. Uh, you can look in my mod folder, or I, I have a mod list um, that uh, I, cause I can't remember the name of this mod, but yeah, it changes the the tavern okay eventually we'll check out the vault so I don't think it changes anything back here though I wanted to see okay all right 
let's go uh, rough some people up. Uh, we'll put our hood back on, and I think we're gonna say a prayer to, to uh, Boethia. So, it's a charming, charming place. Uh, I actually do personally see it as kind of charming. Uh, Felon, he thinks it's disgusting. Um, but Lord Harkin wills it, so it will be done. Uh, one thing I've been contemplating about the Blood Knight is uh, he's Blood Knights are enforcers uh, to keep the vampires um, and the humans kind of uh, balancing, you know, their the masquerade. Um, and uh, one thing uh, was is a giant masquerade breach. If you guys don't know what the masquerade is, it's uh, vampires not revealing their true nature. That's that's why when he was over there, he just didn't drain another um, guard because it would draw too much attention to himself. He knows to not do that. Um, so, um, well, we're tired already. A little bit. Uh, but what I know from a from the story in the game is that Harkin's eventually going to want to blot out the sun uh, with Ariel's bow, and that is a giant masquerade breach. So uh, he's very loyal to Harkin. In fact, like he looks at Harkin as a father. Uh, in, set, in fact, for all intents and purposes, from a perspective of a vampire, he was sired by Harkin. Therefore, he kind of is his father, fam vampire father. So, so I'm today? excited to see the tension when that it comes to pass. I have a message with Brian. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk, and everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. So, I'm going to share about... No! Felon's backstory a little bit, but no. everything that <laughs> him <laughs> like really looking tired isn't very intimidating. You want me to break anything else? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now. Here, take your gold and leave me in peace. Uh, get out of here. Uh, good. We're getting more. We're boosting our gold. Um, so. This would all be very familiar to Velen. Uh, before he was a vampire, he lived in Morrowind. He's he's older. He he's older than the uh, explosion of Red Mountain in Morrowind. And he worked with a gang in Morrowind. I can't remember what they're called. They're not the Kamanatong. They have a different name, but they're basically a gang in um, Morrowind. And he was a type of enforcer for them. Uh, his father was a uh, Witwick far uh, farmer. If you're looking for a room, try and so to be in bar. we can go for the working men. further into what this later. Want? But yeah, he he did this when he was younger. So there's there's uh, to me with Velen, this is almost nostalgic. Um, I have a message from Bryn Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. I can. This isn't. Oh, you can brawl her. <laughs> this isn't about the money anymore. I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please be reasonable. I'll. I'll pay next month. We've run out of patience. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend. You can't scare me with your tough talk. Mm. I'm not paying you people a single coin. He likes that. He likes that. She's making it. They're not making it easy. Is it this? Is this what you're so fond of? 
steal Helga's statue. Until next time, let me read this. Uh, sweet Helga, last night was the most wonderful night of my life. The thing you showed me, the things we did. Alright, this is a little personal. Sorry, Helga, I didn't know you. Please, don't take no the judgment. statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Uh, so should I drop the statue down the well? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Can, can you really drop it down the well? I'm curious. Uh, here's something too I want to explain. Uh, Vampiric Will is super, super powerful. So what I'm doing with it is I'm able to unlock Vampiric Will and then the certain certain things within Vampiric Will uh, with blood points. So he has he does not have access to it. In fact, I should just turn it off. Alright. So this is this is a uh, fairly easy for Velen. I've never seen me old this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. All right, let's talk to uh, Kiraba. Here for a room or something to drink? I have Show a message. Me some coin first. Sorry, I have a message from Brainoff. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. Oh? I didn't mean to tell Brainoff to go jump off the pier. You'll tell him I'm sorry. Yes. Take this. Every single coin I always there. I swear it. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, that was easy. We got the message. Now just take your business elsewhere. Just get out of here. My skill in battle. Uh, is <laughs> I I'm trying to wrap my mind around him, his interactions with um, Argonians, and. Um, Argonians, Morrowind is a shell of what it once was. The tribunal has been destroyed. If you don't know what the tribunal is, I can go deeper on that some some other time. But uh, it's the gods they worshipped. Um, the great houses have been destroyed, basically, with the explosion of Red Mountain. And uh, they were invaded by the Alexia, the, basically a special unit of Argonian, who really and deserve to do what they did uh but they absolutely decimated Morrowind so Velen knows that but I'm curious curious from a psychological stance like how much does he still connect with his culture as a dark elf because I almost feel like him being a vampire he is more he's been a vampire longer he's been a dark elf and uh being a vampire there's a mixed bag of races um, so, I, you know, I don't totally have an answer of how he feels about the Argonians. Um, because he's not really loyal to Morrowind any, anymore. Um, which is an interesting thought experiment. Alright, Brynjolf, so, let's speak. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. Here's, like that. here's what they owe. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. <coughs> here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. What's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If, there, if there's more gold... Uh, if there's more gold where that comes from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larson's in your blood. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True. We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Okay. Well, real quick, we're calling this an episode, but in the next episode, we are going to 
see the Thieves Guild, which there's more mods that are going to make this more elaborate and whatnot. So I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.